Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I'm Jason Dacey. Our top stories from the world of cricket today are West Indies beat England by 381 runs in Barbados. Mohamed Amir returns to Pakistan's T20i squad. Marcus Stoinis called up for the Canberra Test. Lahiru Kumara ruled out of the South Africa tour. Roston Chase ended with career best figures of 8 for 60 as West Indies beat England by a record 381 runs in Barbados to take a 1-0 lead in the three-match test series. West Indies captain Jason Holder led from the front with a brilliant 202 not out in the second innings. It helped set England a mammoth target of 628 runs to win. In reply, Rory Burns top scored with 84, but his dismissal saw England lose their last nine wickets for just 112 runs. The Windies will look to seal the series when the two sides meet for the second test that gets underway on January the 31st in Antigua. Pacer Mohamed Amir returns to Pakistan squad after being included in the T20i squad for their ongoing tour of South Africa. Amir completes his return to the Pakistan setup after being axed from all three formats after the Asia Cup due to his poor form. The selectors retained the previous T20i squad which played against New Zealand in the UAE with the exception of Wakas Maksud who made way for Amir in the squad. Pakistan is set to play a three-match T20i series against South Africa starting February the 1st in Cape Town. Marcus Stoinis has been added to the Australia squad for the second and final test against Sri Lanka, starting at the Manuka Oval in Canberra on February the 1st. Stoinis, who's yet to make his test debut, has been added to the squad in order to provide flexibility to the team in the event the conditions require an extra bowling option in the lineup says national selector Trevor Holmes. Meanwhile, Matt Renshaw, the opening batsman, has been released from the squad and will be available for Brisbane Heat's upcoming BBL fixtures, starting with the game against the Stars. Sri Lanka fast bowler Lahiru Kumara has been ruled out of the second test against Australia in Canberra and the South Africa tour next month after suffering a hamstring injury. Kumara sustained the injury on day two of the first test in Brisbane and had been off the field for the entire third session. Kumara is the second Sri Lanka quick to pick up a hamstring injury on this tour after Nuwan Pradip was ruled out last week. He's the third Sri Lanka player overall to leave the team with a hamstring complaint during their ongoing Southern Hemisphere tours, with Angelo Matthews having sustained a hamstring strain during the second test against New Zealand. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.